Well, hello there, my dearest friends. A long time no see. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am back, kind of. Um, so, in this video I'll be giving updates and explanations, and uh, if you haven't seen my last video where I mentioned that I was taking a break, yes, I have been gone for six months off of YouTube. So I'm going to start with saying that I have tried to upload videos in those past six months. I tried to upload one uh, Andy and I made together for Christmas, and then I tried to upload one in January or February of a Michigan trip that I took. However, every time that I tried to make videos, edit them, upload them, something kept getting in the way. My phone would crash, the apps would crash, the storage would crash. I would keep running out of storage, I keep having to back up and delete the videos um, off of the cloud, Google Photos, whatever, and <clears throat> every time something just kept getting in the way. Um, and so here we are. Now, if for those of you who don't know, I have actually been making videos for, I believe, 14 years as of this year. Um, however, I never uploaded any of those videos within that 14 years until last year, and or about a year ago. And I have lately been really regretting not uploading those videos. I was thinking about how different life would have been if I would have started um, uploading regularly on YouTube those past 14 years. Um, but then I got to the point where, because obviously that's no one's fault but my own, but then I got to the point where I was thinking, you know, who knows? The internet's crazy as we all know. Maybe the Lord was just protecting me from something. Um, because I don't know, and God is so good, and He's protect He protects us from so much that we don't even know about, you know. But again, being a kid, I was also not in a very logical headspace of, um, oh well, I make so many videos because I was making hundreds. <laughs> Um, I was thinking at the time, you know, those years ago, well, I make so many videos, I don't think I could upload all of them on YouTube, I would just bog down my, you know, whatever, and it just wouldn't work, and maybe someday I'll be able to have a website and put all these on there, and this whole thing, but obviously that was illogical, I should have started somewhere, I should have tried to walk before running, you know, um, and because I did that and didn't do anything with my content and just kept it a dream in my head, you know, then I didn't get anywhere at all with it. Which of course, that's no one's fault but my own, right? Of course. So anyway, it is what it is. And um, that is why a little over a year ago I decided to start somewhere and start uploading. But when I did... I just genuinely was not enjoying making the videos as much for YouTube as I was for my personal life, and I feel like I've mentioned that before. Whenever I made a video to try to upload on YouTube, I didn't feel as raw or organic or anything like that. Like I have been on camera for the past 14 years, I felt... I don't even know the word for it. I just didn't feel organic. And um, then it got to the point where, if you know, you know, I was uploading videos every Friday, and um, <clears throat> it, they started to get very, what I felt was rushed, and I just felt like I had to throw something together and get it on the internet, which you could probably tell if you watch some of the videos, they just seemed a little bit not so enjoyable, just long, um, just to have something on there, but very repetitive and whatever else. So, um, another thing on top of all of that and on top of just things kept getting in the way of me 
getting videos back on the internet in the past several months here is my health. <laughs> um, so I know that I talked a little bit about health uh, over last this past summer from when I'm recording this, but I didn't really go into detail. So if you don't know, um, I had a hen named Mocha and she got very, very sick with an infection and I was basically giving her hospice care and it was very hot outside. I was outside for hours. I got dehydrated. And from her infection and from being in the barn where I was, um, I believe, and I'm almost certain, I came down with myocarditis. If you don't know what that is, I encourage you to look it up. It's very dangerous. It's very painful. And it's, I, it's scary. <laughs> um, and so I had that. And uh, it takes a very long time to recover from. Uh, because I wasn't taking anything for it. I was just doing electrolytes and, you know, home remedies, but I was not on any medication for it. And that's how it was. And then I ended up going to the hospital, um, and we thought maybe there were tumors on my adrenal glands, but it turns out there weren't. Um, and then... I came down with the flu and then walking pneumonia at the same time. This was all happening within months um, of each other, just like bam, bam, bam. And right now I'm actually getting over bronchitis that I've had the last week. So uh, there's just been a lot. And then over the winter, I ended up with ovarian cysts very badly. And my hormones were an absolute mess, very imbalanced, and it was causing all kinds of issues. Um, and I had like a celiac attack a couple weeks ago. So my health has just been, and it, it's just been, right? However, um, the Lord is very good, of course, and uh, I have been doing acupuncture. And it has helped tremendously. In fact, right now I have ear seeds in. If you can see these little brown bandage looking things, um, th that is from my acupuncture. And you press on them for 15 seconds and it stimulates the nerve. Um, we have like 30 nerve endings per ear or something like that. So, or in, yeah, we have 30 nerve endings in our ears and uh, it's very fascinating and it is a God given and it has helped very much. However, I also found out, though, um, just uh, about a couple months ago, that I have this autotomia, um, POTS and SVT, and that I have since I was little, but it went undiagnosed, because some of those things can be very hard to detect and diagnose, right? Um, and we've gone the natural way for a while, so that's what has been helping. Anyway, so that was another reason why it was just very difficult for me to come up with good videos because, you know, brain fog, things like that, and I wasn't going to share everything on the internet yet, and X, Y, Z, right? Um, so anyway, that's reason number two, um, that I've not been doing great on YouTube, um, and not being a very good content producer, and I do apologize for that because I, that shouldn't be an excuse, so, uh, anyway, for myself, anyway, but I do apologize for that, and, um, <clears throat> I, again, for myself, if anyone else is struggling with their health and they're not uploading on YouTube, by all means, you take care of yourself, but for me, I feel like, that's no excuse, Shinko, you need to work harder, <laughs> so, anyway, but, um, so those are those updates, and as far as the future of my channel, um, yes, I would love to continue to upload videos. It will always be a passion of mine to make them, however, I just don't think I'm going to be sticking, at least right now, to the regimen that I had of uploading every Friday and cramming videos together. I will probably just be, honestly, uploading spontaneously. Um, for at least a while, at least for now, uh, hopefully, because I want to really make videos that I enjoy because then the receiving end or the audience would definitely um, enjoy it more because you know how that goes. When you're making a project and you're not enjoying it and you're just cramming it together or whatever it may be, um, the receiving end 
probably is not going to enjoy it as much either as uh, if you were really passionate about it instead or if you, you know, enjoyed it yourself and you enjoy making it yourself and the receiving end will probably also enjoy it more. It's just how it goes, right? It's just some kind of way. It's how it goes. So with all of that being said, yes, um, I would love to continue on YouTube and I plan to do that, but it will just probably be spontaneous and I would love to make more videos with Andy, of course. She has been doing um, well. The wedding has been moving along, uh, things for it, and that has all been good. If you have been following that journey at all, um, or if you haven't, there is a playlist on my channel if you'd like to check it out uh, of Andy's wedding journey. Uh, but yeah, so that is that, and thank you for your patience. Thank you for anyone who has watched my videos, for anyone who's watching this one, or for anyone who continues to watch any future videos that the Lord would have me to put out. So, um, thanks again for watching this. And uh, one other quick update is that you may notice my future videos, I may be more minimal on the editing because every time that I do edit um, and I try to download the edited version of the video that I made onto uh, YouTube or my phone or software or whatever, it crashes a lot um, because it takes a lot of gigabytes. And I do pay for extra gigabytes, but it still crashes. I don't know. So anyway, I will probably do a lot more minimal editing, um, but sometimes it's more enjoyable that way as well because it just is more raw and organic. So... Thank you again for watching this video. God bless you all. And um, I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.